What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron and it is time for New Music Friday where normally I would be taking a look at some of the upcoming albums coming out throughout the week of July 7th and I give my thoughts and opinion on what I think we can expect from some of the upcoming albums, but after further inspection I wasn't too familiar with any of the bands coming out with new albums, so <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be doing or mostly talking about singles and EPs and stuff on this new Music Friday. So if there's anything you guys are looking forward to, any albums, singles, EPs, whatever, leave a comment below letting me know what they are so I can check them out, give them a listen, and let me know what you want me to do a review on for this coming up weekend as well. Left to Suffer is releasing a new EP titled And Dying Forever. Uh, this band released one of my favorite EPs of 2021 titled On Death. So I expect this EP to be, I mean, I got very high hopes for it. I expect it to be heavy and aggressive as heck. It will probably make it onto another top 10 EP list of mine at the end of 2022. I just really, uh, I want to hear more albums from this band. I mean, the EPs they do are fantastic. And I've listened to a little bit of their albums, but I just want something new album-wise from these guys. I know it's been kind of rough with, you know, all the stuff that's been going on the past couple of years. So it's hard for bands to get together, especially since this isn't a very big band. I mean, they're not, you know, super popular. So they don't have a whole lot of money, a whole lot of technology to be flying each other all kinds of different places on if they're in, like, different parts of, you know, the U.S. So it might be a little bit harder considering the different restrictions of traveling and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know. If this is all we could get from them from 2022, I will definitely take it. Norma Jean is coming out with a new song titled Spearmint Revolt. Uh, this is a metalcore band that I feel like doesn't get mentioned nearly enough. Their last album, All Hail, was a great album, and these singles have been pretty good as well. Their last song they came out with, Call for Blood, it isn't my favorite song from them. Uh, I feel like they tried to do something a little bit different, and I think... I don't know. To me, it works. And I think that this new song, Spearmint Revolt, will probably be even better than that. I did a review on uh, All Hail. It was probably like when my channel first started, probably around like my 10th review I ever did on this channel. And I absolutely loved it. It got me back into Norma Jean, a band that I personally had forgotten about. And ever since then, I've just been sitting around waiting for something new. And we're finally getting it. And I'm so excited. Era dropped a new single titled Pull From The Ghost. And I mean, what more can you say? This is a band that just keeps getting better and better. Their self-titled album from 2021 won album of the year for me. And I think this song is going to be fantastic. I mean, it's, it's Era. This is a band where I feel like musically they're, they're at the top of their game. But lyrically and in terms of songwriting, I feel like they just keep ascending that mountain. And there's almost, there's no end to the limit of what Jesse Cash can write lyrically. And just, he's just, just a great songwriter. And they've come so far from the beginning. And now they have JT, who's been their full time vocalist, their distorted vocalist for quite a while now. And I feel like they're really settling into that. And it's really, really working. Even JT's becoming a little bit more comfortable in the band doing some clean vocals here and there. And it's just, I don't, there's almost like no limit to what this band can do, especially when they try different stuff and they just know how to do it. It just works out so well. So yeah, I'll probably be doing a review on this song sometime this weekend. Parkway Drive came out with a new song titled The Greatest Fear. I gotta admit, I haven't really liked this band all that much for I don't know, the past couple years. And I feel like they basically have just become a radio rock band at this point, or I guess like a radio metal core band, something you would just, it's uh, very superficial riffs that aren't very deep, all that hard to play, nothing, just basically nothing too creative. We're just gonna play it super safe so that way anybody can listen to us so we can make the most amount of money. And that's kind of what I heard on their last song that they came out with, Glitch. And it kind of seems to be the consensus on that song is a lot of people were very underwhelmed by it. There's a couple other bands I could talk about, but I have to mention Armor for Sleep is finally back with a new song titled How Far Apart. This is one of my all-time favorite emo core, I don't know, post-hardcore bands, I guess you could call them. Their album, What to Do When You Are Dead, has been in my like monthly rotation for like the past 10 years. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Every time I listen to it, it makes me want to cry. It's so good. And I really, really, really hope this song is a banger. I hope it's just the best thing in the whole world. 
because if it's not, it will really, really hurt my feelings. But I'm just so excited this band is back. I hope that we get a new album. I hope we get so much more from this band. So many other bands came back over like in 2020, like I the Breather came back and it's just a lot of bands came back and they dropped one song and that was pretty much it. And it, it's kind of sad. And I hope that this is not going to be one of those bands. I hope they're here to stay forever. And we also have new singles from Revocation, Bring Me the Horizon, Boston Manor, and Mayday Parade, and a bunch of other singles as well. So yeah, if there's, like I said before, if there's anything that you want me to check out and do a review on, please leave a comment below letting me know what it is. And if there's anything that I missed on this that you're excited about, leave a comment below also letting me know so I can discover new music and we could all just listen to new good stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you so much for subscribing and ringing the bell icon. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was